to be doing one of the Hour of Code activities. We're going to do this one called Codable, Make Your Own Codable Mazes. So I gave you this link in Seesaw. I'm gonna click on it. Here's the link. And so Codable is a great coding website for kids. Um, it is a website where you can subscribe. We're gonna play online. So your parents can create a Codable account for you. They don't have to. Right here, there is an option to play without saving. That's what we're going to do. If you play without saving, you do not need an account. But if you want to be able to come back and have it save your work, then your parents can create an account for you, and then you can continue on to different levels and do more things. But since we don't have a codable account, we are just going to do play without saving. And you are playing at home, so you're going to select playing at home. So we are going to do this activity today called Make Levels. And you'll see right here it says Not Saving Progress. Log in to save. So again, if you do this and you come back next time, it will not remember that you did this activity unless your parents create an account for you. But they don't have to. It's fine. So we're going to go to Make Levels and you are in second grade. And we're going to start with level one. The others are locked, so we don't really have a choice. All right, so the little characters in Codable are called Fuzz. Okay, Fuzz, get to the end of the maze. Which way do you need to go first? So we need to help the Fuzz get through the maze, so we're going to program him with these command arrows. So first he needs to go this direction. Which way should you go? Then he's going to need to go this direction, so I'm going to move that arrow up. Correct! Now which way should you go? And then he needs to go this direction. You can test your code first. Tap the test it button. So let's test it. When you think you have the correct code, tap the play button. Alright, I'm pretty confident that that's going to work, so I'm going to press the play button. And it's calling me anonymous student because I don't have a login, so it doesn't know my name, which is fine. And now we're going to move on and go to the next maze. All right, and they're going to get a little bit harder as you go. So each time you need to program the fuzz to go through the maze, pick up those stars, and get to the end of the maze. All right, so try to complete level one today. If you can't get all the way through, it's a little bit long, that's fine. Just do as much as you can and have fun trying Codable.